Welcome to Crawford. I'm in Crawford, Nebraska, and they have something pretty amazing on display. So check this thing out. This is a caboose that's sitting here on display that you can actually go inside. BNSF. So this is a generator that charged up their batteries and uh, gave them power while they were on the rails. So this one was attached to the actual wheel of the train. It would spin around, spin this belt, spin this gear, and then this is the generator right here, which would produce the power. All right, we're going inside. Ever been inside a caboose before? Me neither. Very cool. There's two seats up here. And there's one bed, which I'm assuming it's because probably one of them was always awake doing something. I guess, maybe they would take turns. I don't know, but there's only one bed. You can climb up here. Look at the view. And sit on there. I can only imagine how hot it would probably be in here because I don't think there's any air conditioning, but. You'd sit up here and watch for slack action. I don't know what slack action is. If you know, definitely leave a comment and tell me because I have no idea what slack action is. But that's pretty cool. I mean, I've never been inside a, one of these. <clears throat> Climbing down like a monkey here. <sighs> and then this is the conductor's desk. This is where he would sit and... Uh, conduct <laughs> I have no idea what torpedoes are but torpedoes and fuses go there look at this stove right here Oh, there's another desk back here. Looks like maybe a radio. This looks like it was originally probably seats where they could sit, maybe eat dinner. There's, there was probably a table right here. And so I guess they had, there's a generator. I showed you the generator outside, so that gave them power. And then there was a battery bank. I'll show you the battery bank. This is the bed right here where the conductor would sleep. And then that bed, or the battery bank is under here. So those are the batteries. So can you imagine living in this thing for days on end? I don't know how long they lived in here, but for as long as they were on the, tra on the rails, on the tracks. So when the train was running, it would charge the battery. So then they had plenty of power. It was like the first tiny house, kind of. But this is really cool. And you can, these things open up for whatever. Oh, and there's even a bathroom in here. Check this out. This is the bathroom. So there you go, a sink, pretty much the basics, and the toilet. And you can imagine what happens when they pull that lever. I'm sure I know where, where it goes, <laughs> all, over, all over the train tracks. Pretty amazing. All right, getting back on the road.